Order. This is the uh, November 17th committee meeting of the CSGA Personnel Committee. Uh, are there any public comments? Uh, we have a Hearing no uh, public comment, we will move on to action items. The uh, meeting minutes are the last meeting. Are there any corrections to the meeting minutes? Is there a motion? So moved. Sorry. Okay. Uh, all in favor of approving the minutes of the August 31st meeting signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, that passes unanimously. Next item is information item, which is the revised CEO evaluation form. And uh, we have a, have a draft. Um, and I guess it's, uh, this time it's open to comments. I do have a, a few comments that I would put out there. Um, I think that our mission statement could perhaps be at the top of this document. Uh, I'd like to kind of see that more easily portrayed on our documents, just to remind us of why we exist. Uh, and then let me start off by saying that in looking at the rating levels, I agree that we should have a common description of what the numbers mean more than in the past where we were just one to five and you picked what it means. Yeah. I do see some uh, advantage to having five levels rather than three. And the thought that uh, I would add on the both ends, one would be an unacceptable performance level in the case that somebody may really want to uh, feels that there's a, a huge problem. The other one would be on the, uh, the other end, which is an extraordinary accomplishment for a uh, national role model. So you have a little bit more range uh, for, uh, for rating. So that would be, would be a suggestion that I would have to start. Do you have any comments on the, the rating yeah. Factors. Oh, it was I, I like the three. I, I do like the uh, the definition or the explanation behind the numbers because that wasn't there. It was one to five, and you had to figure out what a one to what a one or a five was. I like just the three. I don't think there should be a uh, unacceptable and one and another one to five. But for a simple reason being, there's a big empty box right there which says you can comment. So what I would look for if you have a problem with the CEO, you have a, a one level which is needs improvement, and hopefully it'll be constructive feedback that you can say improvement where, instead of just putting down the one, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's my, that, that'd be my take on that. Um, and unacceptable, they can put needs improvement and they can say why, because if it's needs improvement, obviously it's unacceptable. You gotta improve it, because you gotta meet the expectation. It sees the expectation. I think that would be like a, or a, a catastrophic one. Like for instance, if I was into my comments in the last minutes, when I spoke about Brad being the, the hardest uh, CEO, or the hardest CEO that I know, this is my personal opinion, sitting on a lot of boards, regional planning, working at, to see that the, the amount of time committed and, and the amount of visibility in the community and also social media, I've never seen that from anyone that I've been participating with in my eight years on a lot of different boards. So if I did a three, I would have noted that in the box, you know, follow that up. So, um, because I think just putting out an unacceptable, what was that, you know? Because <laughs> he didn't uh, return my phone call in 10 minutes, or he didn't call me back in two days or something like that. I mean, I think it'd be more palatable if you had a needs improvement and, and stated what was what. The, the, the three, I think, would be fine. The five, I, I do like that the explanation behind it because we never had that in the whole time I've been on PSC. Mr. Chairman, uh, thank you for that feedback and uh, welcome, Mayor. We are. I, I didn't realize we were starting. Well, that's okay. 
we are going over the uh, revised version of the personnel evaluation form format. And uh, just a couple of words of what I try to do with this new, brand new format uh, was basically respond to a lot of the comments I received from board members this first go around, and you touched on a couple of those. But one was you wanted to have to see a and discuss and agree upon a new uh, version early. So we're having this meeting in November, even though this is not going to be used until um, the end of March. Uh, so that we can make any changes you suggest. Um, Mayor, uh, Chair Johnson suggested two revisions to this. One, to add the mission statement at the top, and two, to perhaps expand the uh, the detailed uh, numbering system is from three to five, with a, a low being unacceptable, the, a new number one being unacceptable, and then a new number five being extraordinary. Um, the goals that I was trying to uh, put together in this was number one, to provide a detail of what the numbers meant, because that was uh, a number of board members asked for that. Um, rather than just making it up to each individual rater. And then number two, trying to make it simpler for the board members to uh, complete, meaning that it's more objective and therefore it is tied directly to the path forward strategic plan goals, as you can see that the questions do. But we can certainly add the mission statement and it's whatever your pleasure is as far as making it five or three. Um, well, it's kind of funny that, that you know, we, in our city, with our city manager and city attorney and city clerk, we do the, we do these things for them, <coughs> and it used to be the one to five thing. And then we got a new HR person, they came in and redid all the forms, and they changed it to the... To one, two, three? Yeah. whether it's one to three or one to five, and my thought is that it's important that we have this exact definition of what each number means because that was one of the items that was uh, particularly brought up by some of the uh, complainants in the audience uh, at the meeting. And uh, so I think the main thing is that we clearly define whatever the, each number means so that we don't have any issues with regard to I was saying one to five would give a, a chance to, to, to center more. I, I don't, the unacceptable is, I would expect, would never be used. But if somebody chose to use it, you would, it would give you an, uh, uh, an indication that a one is not earth terrible, whereas on um, a needs improvement that we could go through and rank a CEO on needs improvement, but it would be not the, um, not that they're terrible. Um, so that was, that was kind of where I was coming from. On the, also it would, I would expect that most of our CEOs would exceed expectations on a on a regular basis, but would allow a highlighting something that is really extraordinary. But I don't think that I 
have uh, two votes here. So, Commissioner, uh, yeah, I'll just. Yeah, I want, I want, wrap it up and then we'll yeah, I just want to make a motion that we use the three with the, with the defined uh, definition of what they are. And my whole term on, on PSA, like I stated before. Uh, um, Is there a second to that motion? I'll second. Um, that, that, well, we had never had a, a definition on that. And um, we have boxes there. I would just hope that whatever number they select, they have some constructive feedback to write in the box of what what's the nature of why they're doing it or that way you can see something and hopefully it'll be to the path forward and also in, in the spirit of it going forward we get away from just the five numbers and, and, and do something new so I like what um, Mayor maybe be Yasha was saying about they, that's what they're doing now because it kind of makes sense. Okay. Is there further discussion on that motion? Hearing no further discussion all in favor of using the proposed uh, the three related to the path forward. Th this format um, is modeled very closely after Pinellas County's new um, uh, administrator's um, format. And Pinellas County, I took their idea, they basically had a section one and a section two like this. And then uh, section two was based on their strategic plan and the goals of their strategic plan and then section one was a couple of other areas, so I kind of modeled the same way. So uh, number one through three are the three areas in my uh, August response to the performance to the last performance evaluation in sort of improvement plan that you saw. Uh, three areas that I said that I would do, and the board's vote. Um, was to ensure that I did those things. They added to the path forward strategic plan the goals from my improvement uh, plan. So that's what I have attempted to do with numbers one, two, and three is lay out from the improvement plan goals I'm trying to uh, meet. And then, then starting with question number four, section two, comes right from the path forward strategic plan. We have we have adopted some performance measures related to each of the strategies under the the seven uh, steps in the triangle, uh, seven uh, major focuses, and so I, I listed those. Uh, in there, but. Again, it's really um, the board member's goal is to give me one rating on each of the seven areas, sort of taking into account all of the different subtasks. relating to the path forward strategic plan. I was wondering whether there should be a new section, general section, dealing with just service delivery, which is how the bus is on time, how the bus do we have breakdown, do we have the, the, the just running the system. And because that's kind of Assumed, but if, if, um, 
and on time performance, clean buses, having minimal breakdowns, customer service, um, which is not the not the creative side the improvement, but rather how the organization runs. Yeah, the Trans output of the organization. Well, and and we do have that. I mean, that that is the that's sort of the foundation of the whole path forward strategic plan is question number four, focus on customer-oriented public transit. Um, we have the one symbol of service, which I've talked about at the customer service training that we're a customer-oriented service, but we could we could enhance that or you know add within this customer-oriented public transit a, a service idea. element. Yeah. I think that's um, a good idea. Yeah, because customer, the, the idea is that our customer service training will help with complaints and overall customer satisfaction of our riders. Well, it's like the agency performance. Yeah. Is, is the agency performing to the, uh, what would you call it, the benchmark, whatever, to, to whatever the benchmark has been set? I had a question. So we're going to judge the CEO on how clean buses are? Is that what we're doing? I, wonder, I mean, that's some of the stuff that you mentioned, Mr. Chair. I'm just, I'm just asking a question. I, I was using it as an example of the core mission, the core service delivery of the organization. Um, I, 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 I don't know whether we could that. It's really more about me, what you think? Well, I was more concerned with, as, as a 15-member board, judging the CEO who's at the top of it, it would be really highly based on the work project that we came up with in the path forward. And is he or is he not getting that done, the things that are in that? Because I think if we do the things in that, everything else is going to come up with it. But if you want him, if you want to make sure the buses are clean, I mean, you can put that in there, but I think that's kind of getting way into the weeds. That's my opinion. I'm just thinking that if you got, we have a document that we all spent a whole day, I think it was, coming up with, and it covered a whole vast a variety of different subject matter areas. And I would like to see it tied to all that, because if that's not getting done, then we got a real problem. That's, I'm just, as a report card, the clean buses are very important. I'll, I'll say that for the record. But I'm wondering, should that be uh, part of the evaluation?
but um, we also need to have some kind of a safety valve on this that um, in the event that we get ambushed in some way, for instance, with uh, a lack of funding, um, that uh, we don't tie the CEO's uh, you know, job performance report to something that's outside of the control of, of the CEO. That's, that's one of the main issues, I think, that uh, where we got off track before. Total agreement. Yeah, a green light, which, you know, is obviously way beyond the control of the CPO, uh, and, and you know, there could be some other situation similar to that that might develop in the future that we don't even anticipate at this point. Uh, we need to make sure that this ties the CPO to specific things that are within the CPO. Again, the, the heading, uh, the bolded, underlined heading of each question, four, 4 through 10, are exactly from the path forward strategic plan triangle. And I don't it's know right. if that will change every year. No, but it's, it's the, the under... The sub-bullets. Right. Uh, so the customer, so for instance, not the interrupted, but yeah. focus on customer-oriented public transit, you've got, you've got the, the main things that you're Under those four yeah. items that are on our path forward. Yeah. So next year, that would be new ones. It, there would, it'll still be improvement, outreach, service, and workforce development. It'll just be new goal mm -hmm. metrics to down. evaluate. So it's a living, breathing document here. And yeah. maybe some carryovers. Right. So yeah. um, I, I think if we're in that situation, I think your concern will be covered because it's not going to be the same thing all the time because it's going to be changing every year. But having said that, I understand what you're saying as well, um, Councilman Johnson, because um, you do need some of those things that are, that you can compare from year to year. You know, what did we, what did we look at, whoever the CEO is, or Brad or anybody else, how did he perform last year in this area versus this year? You know, some generalizations. I understand what you're saying. I get it, and I and I do think that's kind of important. And the performance can, you know, of the transit system. Uh, we've had we have had problems in the past where we've had like skyrocketing complaints. Mm -hmm. Now you've addressed it, you know, and but even before you, there were issues with skyrocketing complaints. But that's the yeah. performance issue and if, if that's a problem that's not getting addressed how do you you know you got to be able to put it in this form so I, I understand on the, the performance of the system I get it and that could be one of those constants included right under service well maintaining another, performance another, could be that general about it another option there are two sections on your and then the ten <coughs> ten items or the seven items are First one is the section on CEO's functional competencies. Um, we could take to sort of reflect that and take the the customer oriented transit from the strategic plan and move that up to a new category called customer service or customer delivery, service delivery. And then, then have those elements within that in this section two, and then section three could be the rest of the path forward. So that, I think is that kind of what you're saying. I'm not sure. I'm just saying, you know, an area of you know where it's the agency's performance. But what I heard you say when you first started talking about this. General, question. general outcomes. Yes, outcomes. Oh, 
overall agency outcomes versus the path forward. And we've got the path forward, and that's important. And maybe it's adding a couple of things under CEO functional competency, or maybe it's adding a section three that says agency performance. Or, you know, I don't know. But I get what you're saying. It doesn't have to be a lot of things. And, and certainly I understand what you're saying, um, Councilman Flingate, with the, you know, we don't want to get into the weeds, but. Well, could we, could we get a, Rachel, do you have the triangle? Is it one of those slides you can put it up? So we can kind of stay, you know, because some of this stuff may be in the one of those triangles. I don't remember all the stuff for Maven, but I would love to see it if you have it. Because that would help us if we're using the path forward. I think that, because we have a uh, place for that, uh, the die is, but I would like to have that so we can kind of see. So we maybe what you're asking for is inside no, of the square. That's all. What's the date on that? That's the current, most current one? Is that the 527? 15? That's that might help. I mean, that's. Um, Mr. Miller? I think you are all making very uh, thoughtful comments, and I appreciate. Uh, Councilman Newton's uh, comment. Again, remember, this is a form that will be filled out by 15 board members, right. several of which are brand new. Right. And to the extent, you know, I'm just uh, very mindful of how this has worked in the past. Um, beauty is in the eye of the holder. And to the extent that an individual council member that may be brand new gets some complaints on something or sees a number or hear something from a member of the community, um, a citizen, and thinks that we are doing bad in some area, um, you know, which may not even be an objective. You know, PSCA does a whole benchmarking process, and by definition, we are good at, we are number one in the United States in some areas, and we're number 10 in, not too, not too many, but some areas too. And, um, uh, this idea of customer satisfaction, which um, maybe, you know, I think we're going to have some presentations on in the future, but yes, it's important to have the buses clean. It's also have the buses uh, on time. It's important that the, the driver is nice and not evil to the person, all sorts of things. It's important that it's, that it's not raining outside and there's a bus shelter when it's raining. Um, some of those things are not within my control. And, uh, but the, the, but the higher level goal, which you're talking about, is whether the customer, the, the, the riders that we're serving, are, are getting the service that they deserve and that they want. Um, and it is important, I think, to evaluate the transit system on its overall goal. But just because it goes down in one year by 0 .03 on the satisfaction survey, you know, I'm not sure is really what you're trying to get at. Um, I think what you're maybe, at least what I would suggest is if I, if that I should have to identify areas where we, where we want to focus on that we were maybe not doing so great at or we've had some issues and work at making improvements on those areas. Like um, Julie said, like if, there's an area of complaints and the CEO is not addressing those or ignoring it or refusing to address that or something. Um, that's one thing. I mean, I, the, the example on DART, uh, and we did have a complaints in the springtime um, with Yellow Cab, our contractor, and we implemented a number of measures, um, a whole new incentive carrot and stick program and all that, and it's turned it around uh, in large part. We complaints are way down, and I think I should be evaluated that we that we did that. Now, do we still get complaints on Dart? Yeah, um, but um, I think it's okay to evaluate me on specific initiatives. And this one that I have on here. Targeted customer service training is a specific initiative we're undergoing at PSD right now. Training, sending all of our drivers, existing drivers, this is like the first time this has ever happened. Existing drivers have, gone, have come off the bus and are sitting in a training classroom for four hours 
and getting refresher training. Um, and then we're going to do surveys on the buses to see, hopefully, that the training is paying off, that the customers are noticing it. But there's no real guarantee. That's an indirect um, thing, but we're very hopeful. Anyway. If I could, with the, um, with the, with the, with the if, you, if you look at the, um, the, 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 pit, the path for repair, man, you have two areas here that, that addresses, I think, some of your concerns that it pertains to customers. Down here at the bottom one, it says focus on the customer's oriented transit services, continuous improvement of, uh, of PSCA bus services for both riders and the community. Um, it's got, and if you go up top where it says, uh, in the middle, where it says customer-oriented service redesigns, it's focus our resources in transit, where transit works best, identify transportation alternatives for affected customers. A lot of this stuff is, and then it's got use data-driven and customer sensitivity approach. So we got, a lot of this stuff is geared towards some of those customers. I guess if you've got dirty buses, it's going to come out, it'll get washed out in either one of those squares. All I'm saying is, this is a pretty high level. This was designed and it, it was approved by the actual 15-member board, who's the boss of, of Brad. And I'm thinking that something like this tangible that we can hold, you know, minus the things as uh, uh, maybe Joski stated, that's going to change like William Park or probably be the, just like we had um, we doing the uh, concrete around here. That was one of the things that got done. Stuff is going to fall off. But at the same time, I think Brad mentioned in the beginning that he met with each board member and, and he got some concerns from one-on-ones with them. And I think that is um, some of the stuff he incorporated. Is that the first line there, Brad, when you asked yeah. about um, well, he met with each one of them? And, and they already told him some of the things they thought should be in there should be addressed and some of this stuff being addressed. I think when you go from what was said or what was documented to next year or after March, looking at was it done or was the promise kept, that's a good gauge to see how it was before and how it is as a period of time has went by. But all I was saying was we, I think it should be more tangible. I don't know, I, I would ask Mayor Pichowski, when you do your city managers and stuff, how, how deep do you guys go? I mean, what's well, that's exactly okay, that what I'm looking at okay. and wanted to comment. I, I pulled it out okay. because now I, I think I, I feel a little bit more now I can speak intelligently. Right, I'm sorry. I think what you're looking at, Councilman Johnson, is um, we have all the philosophical questions or the goals that we're trying to reach to this, but we don't have in the general area, for instance, there's a section on, on our city managers. Uh, review that's called Managing the Organization. Um, you know, analyzing, analyzes organizational problems or issues and identifies cause, reason, implication, solution, and employs available technology systems and methods. Now, we can make that sound hell of a lot better, but it, it's really about the point of what it's saying. It um, communicates effectively, clearly, and to the point. Those are generalized things that you want out of your CEO. Um, adapt and deal effectively with unanticipated conditions and situations. That goes to your leadership and ability to manage the organization. That's not getting into the weeds. It's just more general and not tied to the path forward. And I think that maybe it's kind of an area you were going to, it certainly is, I would like to see a section that has some of those questions. I know we just walked in, I mean, the document we had before was full of those questions. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to a document that has none of them. I think it needs to be maybe a little bit of a happy meeting. And it doesn't have to be full of it, it doesn't have to be a lot of it. It needs, you know, maybe four questions, maybe one section that just has those general, he had it on the city manager's thing, you know, relationship with the commission, which would be the board. Do we need all of that? Maybe not, because you've got a section that says that. Um, we also have a line on the um, visionary service design and increased public transit access. This has got updated community bus plan that's needed and address and embrace changes within the community. I mean, that's
address that's it's a, a address and, and embrace them, which which I guess is a situation like you said that arise. I mean that that's in here. He's gonna have to do that. I mean um, I don't know which situations, it just be in general, but if something arises, I mean obviously it's just dress and embrace. I mean you got to change and you got to embrace them and move on forward. So I, I don't know, I mean maybe I'm one of the things that I did is I did go through the old form, and there were 10 items on the old form. And I tried to map them to where they would fit in the new form. And several, of, and some of them fit in to the functional, at functional competencies, the first three. But I did notice that the question that was in the old form that said organizational leadership. There was some words that went along with that. And I didn't see that in any of the the, the new form. Number two, it says increase organizational accountability. That's accountability, not leadership. The leadership being the picking of the people, having the. Yeah, the, the picking of personnel, the ability the, to do that. The, motivation of the staff, the um, dealing with customer is effectively. Yeah, because yeah, there's a number of those things in this form that I'm looking at for my city manager as well. And it's, and you do need to have those questions. I mean, because it does go to what kind of leader we have of the organization. Number three. On this um, session planning throughout the uh, PSC organization. It says identify, develop uh, strong assistant leadership uh, so long term sustainability in the organization is maintained. Chief level leaders, organization development requirement, identify and address. So, yeah, but that, that's just one part of it. That's a specific, yeah, it's a specific response, response to a concern that members of the executive committee have Well, let me, let me ask the question. Are we going to move forward, or we do, do we want to keep the same old form and, and, get, and just want the same old stuff? Because we have a new document that the, the board, the, 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 just my my comment, the board, the, the board has approved, and I think that we need to have a, another document that goes lockstep with this. Should it have some more bullets? I agree, yes, of one of those subject matters, but try to keep it addressed to the subject areas of which we're trying to go forward to. If not, we're going to be still stuck where we were at, that's all. Now I'm not saying get rid of those, but you have you say you had ten, you got seven. I think if you incorporate some bullets under these or, or under under here, I think would be more than fine because we're splitting I think we're splitting hairs when we talk about the management of people and picking leadership when you talk about staff and accountability. That's in here. But I mean it, it doesn't say exactly what the old survey says. So I, I, I get that. But so we know where Joe is. Yeah, the phone call. Phone right. where, where I sense that we're, we have different decisions, different points of view here, and we need to, re to resolve this and move on. Okay. And so, if I, I did not make a motion or, or a second, but Mr. Miller, you have, you've been listening to yes. this. Yes, yeah, I, and I hear the, the debate. Um, uh, I felt like I was given fairly clear direction to come up with a new format, that the more uh, general kinds of questions that board members uh, that are not on the personnel committee or not on the executive committee uh, filled out, they filled them out as best as they could um, in very literal format and they requ the request was for a easier, from a board member perspective, or a higher level format. I mean, it, it is a philosophical discussion we're having, you know, in, in one theory is if I got everything on this page done, why do you, why does the board care uh, who I have? I mean, who, who, uh, I mean, it, aren't the goals of the, uh, the board supposed to be on this uh, part of the strategic plan? Um, you know, I mean, 
we, we, the buses don't run on time sometimes. Uh, Wendy um, called me the other day because his daughter was waiting out in a horrible rainstorm and the real time was not working. She was and uh, I'm, luckily my performance evaluation wasn't due the next day or else he would have given me a year one um, on that. But, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's 15 board members. They will, they will assess these yes. based on we're trying to come up with a, a way that a board member can fill this out in, in a way they understand. And I think the best way to do that is to tie it to the goals, the, the strategic plan goals that the board members are familiar with. Um, I, I have no problem being evaluated on the performance of PSDA because I think we are a stellar, we have a good track record. But. I don't know how, I know I'll get comments from board members saying, well, I have no idea how well the buses run compared to how they should run, or, um, right? It takes, it can take performance out of it. I think it's the general question. I think throwing that completely out, I mean, for instance, if I just take this one section off of my city manager's evaluation form, it's called managing the organization. adopted by the commission, plans and executes organizational priorities, dot, dot, dot. Analyzes organizational problems uh, and gives you solutions. Executes the short and long-term goals and objectives, dot, dot, dot. Communicates effectively, clearly, and to the point. Demonstrates sensitivity to the opinions and concerns of others outside the organization. Emphasizes the importance of teamwork and leadership to the organization and sets himself as a role model. Accepts new ideas and suggestions for change. Adapts and deals effectively with unanticipated conditions. Do we need all nine of those? Probably not. But a few of those, I think, are important to ask the question. And I, I think with what you've done with this form is great. And yes, I think you got clear direction. But I mean, that's what the personnel committee is here for: is to kind of talk about what is to take the higher level viewpoint and, and then take it to the nitty gritty. And to have maybe five managing the organization questions or leadership questions or however we want to deem them in a third section, I don't think is going against the, what you've been told. I think it's, it's keeping, it's reminding us that we, we can't just judge you on that. We need to make sure you're, you're being a leader in our organization. You can get all of these things done and and not be a leader? Still have problems other, in other areas. And I don't mean to say you. I, I'm trying to keep this as a CEO, not you. Yeah. You know? I mean, pretend it's not you. Pretend it's a brand new person that comes in and has other idiosyncrasies, let's say. We have to have a way to identify them. Th okay. That's my, my feeling about it. So, you know, adding four or five more general questions at the end. I don't think it's a big I do think we're close because we, we got a document with a mission statement that says uh, BST provides safe, convenient, accessible, and affordable public transportation services for Pinellas County residents and visitors and support economic viability, thriving communities, and enhance quality of life. That's our mission statement. And uh, I'm just saying, I think if we put a few bullets in to some of the concerns, that would be fine when it goes upstairs. It may be, may be a, a few more bullets, but if we're going to keep the whole form, we might as well keep the whole form. But you, there's no way you're going to do all this. I'm, and I'm not, not at all this is no way. I'm not at all suggesting we use the whole form. I'm just trying to move this forward to say, are we going to, is there any change that we would recommend to this draft? Yes, yes, yes. Well, if you said you, you asked some bullets, I agree. So I guess, I guess the, the two, just two suggestions I've heard, maybe you're trying to bring this home, um, is whether to add a section three with a, a section three with an, a separate question with bullets on overall organizational leadership, or 
Option B would be to uh, enhance some of the existing 10 questions for you know, the customer satisfaction service one maybe specifically and maybe uh, the number one, two, and three to add some bullets on more uh, general organizational leadership characteristics. Mr. Chair, I'm just I'm at a, a small disadvantage. If we were going to use the old old uh, rating sheet, I think it should have been provided unless I'm missing I, I, I don't, don't see it. think there has been any recommendation to use the old form. Well, we make a lot of reference to it. All we have is the No, current, I'm uh, referencing. I'm referencing. No, 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 no. Not to us. I'm saying the, 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 chair, the chairman said he went to the old sheet. He saw 10 things. He saw different things that went in there. All I'm saying is that's great, but it would have been nice to have all that here. We got the path forward. We have a new layout. If we're going to use stuff from the old one, I would like to have that too. That's all I'm saying. So I'm, I'm in a small disadvantage. Are you, I don't, are you suggesting that meeting. we need to hold another meeting? No, yeah. sir. No, sir. If we can get, anyone have the old uh, questionnaire from the, the last one we used? I might be able to pull it up there. You can pull it up? Okay. I don't have any I'm not suggesting that that right. is the model to do. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that we're bringing, <coughs> we're, no, we're bringing up, excuse me one second, please. We're bringing up concerns that there's certain items that are being left out that we were judging on previously. So what I'm saying, I want to see them because I don't have that in front of me. I'm not disagreeing. I just don't have the information. You may have it, but I don't have it. That's all. What, so, if, what if we... Um, so if you pull the questionnaire up from, from uh, last year, we can look at it and try to see where we can add some bullets so we can bring this home. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying I have this and I have this. We there, 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 there it is right there. We have a suggestion. Okay. Now, now up under, um, what, what section you said it was up under uh, managing style or personnel? What were, you, what were you guys talking about? I was talking about my city's evaluation form. That's why I'm saying you're going to the well, wrong area. No, no, no. Well, these are the ones. These are the ones we judge them on. I know, I know, but I was using the example of, of this. What I was reading was off of the City of Dunedin evaluation form under managing the organization. Right. It had nothing to do with PMTA. Well, 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 so my, my suggestion would be to let Brad or his HR person go through some of these generalized statements and pick the ones that just the HR guy thinks is the right one. Well, and just add at the end. I think the same time in a, in a meeting, because I might not be in many more of them, part of my last personnel meetings, we can go through these one by one and see where they put it in at, and maybe add a bullet and make a suggestion, because I can guarantee you when we take it down not downstairs, there's going to be people that want to add some more stuff, and rightfully so. This is a recommendation from the committee. It's not, it's not gospel. It's not written in stone. All I'm saying is I'd rather go one by one to see if there's anything that the, the, the body may think we're leaving out and not addressing in the, in the new path forward. Because that's all you got. You got this and you got this. Unless you got something new that, you, that, that I don't know about. You got the new one and you got the old one. That's all I'm trying to say. So if we go through this just one by one, if you can make them bigger, and just to make sure we, is, is it covered? If not, add a bullet. That's all I'm suggesting. I think that's the proper the way it brings it home. Other than that, other than that we're going to go back and forth until 3 o'clock. Frankly, you, you've been listening to this for a while. Do you have a comment? No, I apologize uh, for being out of the room and some of this was going on. But, um, I, what, we, what we were saying is, while you were out, is that we like what we saw here, but we felt there should be a third section with maybe four or five very general questions. Like, not tied to the path forward. There's not a third section. There's a. There's well, there are there are commentary uh, boxes. Yes, but, right. but we wanted to look at, for instance, I was while you were out, I was saying, for instance, online city manager evaluation. There's a section called individual organization, and it has general questions. I'm not telling you which ones there are, they are, but I mean, you know, if they're right or wrong. But it says. Um, Execute the policies of the commission. Um, execute the organizational priorities. Dot dot dot. Analyze the organizational problems and find solid solutions. Um, execute the short-term and long-term goals. Communicate <coughs> effectively, clearly, to the point. Um, Emphasizes the importance of teamwork and leadership in, in the organization. Accepts new ideas and suggestions for change. Adapt and deal effectively with unanticipated conditions. That's like general stuff. That 
that doesn't really tie to the past forward. So but it does tie to what you're, the things that you're asking are all right. in it, one, two, and three here. It's not. Yep. These are very specific that are going to change each year. You see what I'm saying? That's why we were saying if we added a section three with four or five, mm -hmm. not as many, and maybe not these exact things, with four or five general questions, we should be able to identify whether our CEO, and forget Brad, is anybody who comes in, you know, whether they have, they are leading the organization well. This is a uh, one right here. This is number one. It goes to organizational okay, leadership. Excuse me. Do you have anything that you No, I mean, because I, I think um, that, that uh, we're going to make this thing uh, too open-ended again, and then we're going to get right back into the same uh, criticism that we heard from the audience the last time. We've got we've got to keep this succinct and, and narrowly focused so that we don't have, uh, you know, okay. second-guessing by... by Other than that, that high level. Yes, sir. Um, could you address that the specific form that's been presented and any changes you would like? You well, would what, 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 what I would what I would like to do, Mr. Chair, is my duty as being on the personnel committee. What we have in front of us is the change for the path forward. What we have on display is where we're coming from. So I think it's going to be, uh, we'll be derelict in our duty if we don't at least make sure that some of these areas, if not all of them, are captured in here we, before we make our recommendation to the board. That's all. How do we do that? doesn't matter to me, but I don't want to, all we got is this and we got that. I don't know if anything, else, any other document. But if, if it's not covered in here, and, it, and that doesn't reflect some of that, because we don't get the same thing when we go, when we go down there. You got members saying, well, this used to be in there, it's not in here. We're going to be there all day. I think that's why you have subcommittees, so they can go through them one by one, at least make sure it's captured or addressed. I agree we shouldn't be in the weeds, but a lot of this stuff, it, it is captured. And in the back, on the narrative page, you get to write in what you think. If, if it's been missed, the very... Page number 13 in the new one has a space for that, but 